Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go over my favorite outfit to wear with my cowboy boots. So I'm going to go over the brands that I like to wear um, and go over a couple other things too, like the uh, fit and all that stuff and the specific pieces that I enjoy wearing. And before we get into it, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and don't be afraid to ring that bell either. Now let me go ahead and switch the camera angle and get a couple things and I'll be right back with you guys. What's going on guys? I'm back. Got everything I needed to get. Now we're going to start from the bottom at the boots and work our way up. So first, we got the boots. The cowboy boots I'm generally rocking are the damn post Milwaukee's. And I own four pairs of these, same exact boot. The reason why is because, you'll see, I tend to wear the same thing all the time. It just takes the, um, I just decided one day to wear the outfit all the time that I love instead of trying to figure out a bunch of different things and match this with that. I picked the one outfit that I like the most and I bought multiples of each item. Now the reason why I liked this um, particular style is because the more uh, traditional uh, style of boot seems to be the most versatile. You can dress it up if you want to or you can dress it down. So it can really go both ways. So I love that versatility with this style of boot. And I found that it just uh, fit me the best, it was the most comfortable. So instead of trying to get the same style in a bunch of different brands, I just bought four of the same pairs of boots. Now working our way up to belts. I got one on and usually I get my belts from a company called Anson and I'll come up to show you guys. These actually run on a ratchet system. I think I started seeing them about five or six years ago. They might have been around a little bit longer than that but you can see the ratchet, the track system, ratchet system, whatever you want to call it is right there. And I have four of these all in black. I found it looks best if you match your black you wear black belts with black boots, brown belts with brown boots, and you just click it into place to wherever you need it at. And there's a little lever, you just pops it right out. Now the cool thing about these is you can get one or two straps, and the buckle is actually interchangeable. So you can pop that off and you uh, pop a new one on. Now whenever you get the strap itself, it'll be one long piece. You would trim whatever end the buckle goes on. Don't try and trim the end that um, the, that the track system's on because then you're gonna mess up your belt. And I have four, four belts from Anson, all black, but I have four different buckles. And that's one of two things that actually does change in my wardrobe uh, generally. Next are my jeans. I pick the Levi's 527s usually in the tumble rigid wash and I wanted just like with the boots I wanted a pair that you can dress up or dress down and I found that that uh, this the tumble rigid dark wash seems to work the best for that and these are their slim fit boot cut that's what the 527s are and usually whenever you're um, fitting jeans for your, just in general but especially for your boots you want it to be um, you don't want a whole lot of extra fabric in the thigh area but you want it to open up a little bit down here around the shaft to a lot for that extra bulk. So a boot cut's great for that. Also, depending on the brand, you can also go for a straight leg. So if you guys are looking for a new pair of jeans for your boots, I recommend either looking at some boot cut jeans or even some straight leg jeans. Every brand's gonna fit a little bit differently, so go to the store and um, try some different brands on and find what works best for you. I personally like Levi's, but you have a couple other great brands too, like Wrangler, uh, Lucky Brand Jeans actually makes a really good jean. They're known for being very soft, so if you like very um, soft denim, check out Lucky Brand Jeans. Next is uh, the t-shirts that I'm usually wearing are the Express t-shirts. And if you're wondering, I have 10 pairs of the jeans and I have 16 pairs of, or 16 of these t-shirts, just to give you an idea. But I found that Express, uh, they fit me the best. They aren't too bad at price. You can get them for about 10 bucks a piece. I have a Tanger outlets around me, so I'll either go up there and get them for about 10 bucks a piece. Or they'll either have half off sale or buy one, get one free. So it just depends on whenever you go up. But I've also found that they actually hold up pretty well. Usually whenever um, I have t-shirts, I tend to wear my belly rubs against the counter for rub up against something. I tend to start to develop little holes there. I haven't had that problem with the Express shirt. So I really, um, Really do enjoy the quality of Express. Last is my jacket. Usually whenever I gotta wear a jacket, I'll go for a Levi's denim jacket. They're trucker jackets. I have a couple different colors for the jackets. 
This one's a gray one. I'm really liking this one lately. I also have a black one. And I have a blue one also. Just depending on my mood, it will depend on the color jacket that I wear. Now here's a tip, whenever you're, if you are looking for a new denim jacket, whenever you fit it, you want it to fit kind of similar to a blazer or a sports coat. You want it to be fitted in the body area. It's a little bit snug, but not too tight. You want the sleeves to come down and hit. And this actually, the sleeves goes for any of your jackets. You want it to hit right there at the base of your hand. You don't want it to cover your hand. I know that that's a popular thing, but you don't want your jacket to cover your hand. If you find it fits well everywhere else, but your sleeves are a little bit long, don't be afraid to go to a seamstress or a tailor and have that done. And bottom of the jacket, you generally want it to hit right at your belt line. And depending on your style of jacket too, you're gonna find a little bit different lengths are gonna work best. So I'd say between here and even a little bit lower is where you want your jackets to hit and that's just going to depend on the style. So let me go ahead and um, put some of this stuff away and I'll be back with you guys in a minute to uh, let you know some of the accessories that I like wearing with my boots. Hey guys, yeah. so we're back and we're getting into accessories and usually I'm rocking two of them. And first is my watch. This is the Citizen Promaster Diver. It's a dive watch. Trying to get it so it's not glaring off the light there. And I just, yeah. First I wanted a Rolex. I had seen Rolex dive watches. Uh, their Submariner was, um, I think that's one of those popular dive watches. And I just love the look of a dive watch, but I didn't like the price of the uh, Rolex. So I've shopped around a little bit and found, you know, Citizen and a bunch of companies make um, dive watches. I found that I like the Citizen one the best and it was within my budget that I had set for that. And the cool part about a lot of Citizen watches is uh, they use an eco drive movement, so it's powered off the sun or any kind of light, really, your lamps, anything like that. So you don't have to worry about changing your battery or anything like that. Just every couple of years, send it out for maintenance. I haven't had to have mine sent out yet for maintenance, luckily. I don't know how often, how soon that's going to come, though, so we'll find out. But uh, the thing I always liked about the dive watch is it seemed um, you can either dress them up or you dress, can dress them down. They tend to be a more casual style, but you can get away with dressing them up if you need to. So I like the versatility of that. And the second one is actually uh, this ring. I got this from Jared's. It's just a simple um, gemstone ring. I always like the look of a gemstone ring because uh, I feel it just adds a little bit of detail without uh, going overboard with a lot of embellishment or something like that. And it's not a real sapphire. It's a uh, cubic zirconian, I think is the proper term for that. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But usually I'm just wearing this watch and this ring. Those are the um, accessories that I usually will um, pair with my boots. So thank you guys. So, oh, and um, whenever it comes to medals, also for your rings and your watches, try and match them all together. Like if you got silver uh, band on your watch or if you have a leather uh, band on your watch, leather should match your belt and your shoes the metal should match your buckle. So if you got a silver um, bracelet on your watch, silver buckle, same with the ring. You don't want to go gold, gold, silver, or silver, silver, gold, or a mismatch. It's going to look off. The only um, exception is going to be is sometimes you're going to see uh, belt buckles that have gold and silver together or bracelets for watches that will have gold and silver together or faces on the watches. Uh, then it's kind of like a pass to do either which way. So then you can uh, mix and match them. But typically you want to go with you know all silver or all gold or uh, something along those lines. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I got a couple requests for a outfit video. So I hope that for the guys that did request uh, the outfit for with cowboy boots that you guys uh, did enjoy this. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. I'll have the links for... Uh, some of if not all these products that I showed you guys in the video in the description and also if you want to see a review on the Dan Post Milwaukee boots I'll also link that in the description. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Take care.